Hello, my name is Jessica Beckham. And my name is Natalia Kuczynski, we return to University Nursing Students. Our community placement this semester is to interview new Canadians to see how these experiences have affected their health. Today we have the pleasure of meeting uh, Zale Bari. Where did you come from and what is your culture of origin? Uh, I'm from Iran. Mm -hmm. uh, and do you consider yourself Iranian or Persian? Or? Uh, Persian is our nationality. But uh, my country name is Iran. And did you have family here when you first arrived in Canada? Yes, I have uh, two brothers in Canada. I, when I come here, uh, it was easier for me to be adjust and be, uh, be relaxed. Like, you know, as you, know, you have somebody in here, he can help you if you have something. Uh, if you have any difficulty in Canada, he could help you. Yeah. July 2006, July 2006, about four, four years. Four years ago? Four years ago. When did your family come to Canada, the rest what? of your family? We came to Canada with my uh, husband and uh, my kids. All together? Together, all together. Mm -hmm. The same time. How many kids? Three. Big family. And how often do you return to your um, culture of origin? How often, how often do you go back to your oh, country? How often do you go back to my country? I come back to my country last year. Last year. Uh, do you find that you have adopted to the Canadian lifestyle? It's easy to me. Yeah, do you find that you have adopted or you are still... Um, I think I adopted because I changed uh, so much things like uh, idea of goodness or something. Not a religion. We just think it's about how to be social to the city. Mm -hmm. Because I changed last time to have a that you know, want to adapt to the society in Canada. Uh, the way my, my kids are living, I change it. I wanted to have a fight with them. Not fight, argue. Argue with them. And then uh, I find that if I uh, want to live in Canada, I have to. I have to adapt myself here. What about nutrition? Do you find that your nutrition has mm, changed? I didn't change. Uh -huh. I still I have my own back home foods. Mm -hmm. or my own foods at home. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't eat out very much, like rarely, occasionally. Uh, most of the time I cook at home, even I have business. Okay, that's fine. We use lots of fresh foods. We yeah, don't use uh, frozen one. We don't like frozen one. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I like. Mm -hmm. um, do you have trouble finding employment when you first came to Canada? No, I didn't. Just only the uh, time I worked, it was four months uh, by NCC. It was a program, four month program in a nuclear center. Exactly after five months we came to Canada. It was kind of help immigrants to be familiar with both place. Mm -hmm. And will you tell us about international foods and what you do exactly what you saw? No. Mm -hmm. Actually we just started three months ago. Mm -hmm. with New York. It was we bought this business nine months ago. I, I actually, the, I had a feedback from the international food. I had uh, uh, business courses, not courses, business class, again, by the Canadian Center. And I found that the, the interview, uh, there is a lack of international food in store. Kind of people from different countries, they need something from their back home. They should feel like it was going to travel to the market and stuff. And I did survey, and I find it's a great idea to open an international industry. It's like a travel, I just think about time you need to get your workshops all the way to travel. Yeah, for example, I know in a Peter group, a Latin American population is doing now. They told me they go to Trump by the India or Middle East like myself. So I find it 
put out your this person. That's what Lucy said as well. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Thank you.